Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the next video lecture of our Bath Club series. Uh, in the last video, we saw about the DFS. In this video, we're going to see the prime applications of DFS. In this, the first one, and I guess it's the only one, which is the prime application of DFS, which is finding the subtree size of this entire tree which means every node's subtree size I should be knowing in O of N. Please mark its code as a snippet. It's very, very, very useful. It, it occurs very often in the code. Like four out of 10 times, it would fall easily can occur out of your graph tree codes. So please mark whatsoever it is. Now the problem say is that we have to find the subtree size of every node, which means here you can see the subtree size is one. Here the subtree size is one. Here it is also one. Here, uh, if you just see subtree size is three. So I've just marked three. Here the subtree size is two. I have marked as two. Here, if you will see the subtree size is nothing but six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the reason I have marked subtree size as six. So I have to find the subtree size of every node in entirely O of N. Now, one thing you will say, Aryan, um, okay, we have, we have to find the subtree size. So if I just clearly look at this condition, then I easily can see one thing. If by anyhow, I don't know how, but if anyhow, if I can get to know the subtree size of my left child, subtree size of my right child, then I can just add that subtree size, which means left three, right two and mine one. Now it will become the subtree size of me. It's for sure right. If it had more childs also, then also I will just have added the subtree size of all the childs and then added one for me, one for me and of my childs. So it will just get the subtree size of my node. If you just again see that a subtree size is one, one. If I just add that subtree size and one node for me, so now I can get the subtree size of this particular node. So, okay, Aryan, now you are saying that anyhow, if you know the subtree size, which for sure, recursion, let's assume recursion can bring the subtree size of your child nodes. So, you can for sure bring the subtree size of you. So, one thing you assume, your subtree size, it can be brought by the child nodes. And now, you will just add that one in the subtree size of your child nodes, which means you will just grab the sum of the subtree size of your child nodes, add a one, and you will grab the subtree size of you. Cool. Which means I just assumed I will just get the subtree size of my child nodes. Let's see the coder now. After making, see how we will build the code, you will see exactly why what we assumed itself. I assumed that my function recursive function will bring the subtree size of my child nodes which means my child nodes it will bring out the subtree size it will bring out the subtree size and i am adding that in my current size which is actually my current size so in my current size i am adding the subtree size of my child nodes and i assume that my this function called as tfs it will return the subtree size so ultimately I also have to return because it is the same function which is being called, right? So I have to return the subtree size of that node, which ultimately if we call for a child, it is for child node. If we call for the node, it is for the root node. That is the only thing. You saw what, how we build the solution. We first build the recursive condition. Okay. What is the condition like? It will be nothing but one plus sum of subtree size of child nodes subtree size of child nodes will be brought out by my recursive function named as EFS for us. This function will give me the subtree size of my child nodes and ultimately I am calling this recursive function for my actual root node itself. So this root node itself will also have a return condition. Return condition will nothing be, return condition will nothing be the subtree size. Ultimately it can find in the end which is nothing but after completing because this current sum is actually being accumulated by the subtree size so ultimately i just return that subtree size and for sure i need to return for every of these nodes every of these nodes so i just grabbed a array or a vector and i just kept on updating for every node it is the same thing which we did now let's see the code pretty quickly 
Firstly, I just visited because in DFS you knew earlier what we saw in the last video that we visit only node exactly once. Then I just have the current size which is one. For me, one node right now it's one. Then I just went on to all the children's if not visited. It, it was same exactly as we saw in the last video also. All the ch children if not visited. After that we perform the recursive function which means going on the child's. I assume that my this function of dfs will bring the subtree size of that child node it will just bring so i will just add that in my current size if i just add that in my current size ultimately i have to return that current size because i assume my dfs functions returns the subtree size of that node of that means of child node child I was considering him because it was calling for the child node. It is for the source node. So it will return the subtree size of the source node. So ultimately I know, okay, what I have to return. Why? Because I assume uh, I have to return the subtree size by this recursive function called as DFS. That is how we write the recursive functions. We find the conditions. We know, okay, start uh, base case is what? Okay, it will just land on to when there is no nodes. What is the return condition? It is return condition is what we assume that it should return. It is the same thing. And it is the exact main function which we saw in the last video also uh, that how we just call this particular graph. Uh, it's nothing but just we added this vector because ultimately I just need to return this vector as the subtrahes of every node. Thus, I just call this recursive function, which is a DFS function, a lovely function. And ultimately, I just get my answer. Java code is also exactly the same. Visited current node, went on to all the childs, get the current size, return the current size, and also set that value. So I hope that you guys got it. Please, please, please mark this whole function as a snippet because it will be very useful. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.